Trajectories are convenient when you need to see how objects move across a certain interval. Select an interval of frames, then select an object to see its trajectory on the interval. Select other objects with the left mouse button to see their trajectories. By default, if you select a group of objects, you will only see the trajectory of the object that has the highest position in the object hierarchy. To view trajectories of other objects in the group, select them the usual way. Note that the group as a whole will not be deselected. Trajectories for object groups can be rendered in several different modes. Switch between them on the panel near the tool button. The second available mode shows trajectories of every selected object. The next one shows positions of the edges that connect selected point controllers. The last mode shows both point controllers and edges between them. Click the key sign so the trajectories will be rendered only for keyframes. Sometimes it might be useful to see trajectories for certain objects while selecting and editing different ones. Fix the currently selected trajectories using this button on the toolbar. Now the trajectories for these objects will be visible as long as the button is enabled. In the meantime, you can freely select other objects. Hold Shift and click the points with the right mouse button to enable their trajectories as well, or to remove the trajectories if they are already visible. Press the Set Trajectory Interval button to lock trajectories for the selected interval of frames. Now trajectories in this interval will be visible even when you select other frames. Trajectory interval is marked with black flags on the timeline. By editing trajectories you can change an object's position on different frames without switching to these frames. You can also monitor the trajectories of the object's rotation. You can either monitor the object's global rotation along with its translation or only the rotation itself. In the local mode, rotation trajectories show how the object rotates in relation to its parent. You can also view the object's rotation across different axes. The farther are the points on the rotation trajectory from the object, the better you will be able to see the smallest changes in the trajectory. Rotation trajectories can also be edited. Click the Rotate Hierarchy button so any changes you make to the rotation would also be applied to the children of the selected object. This is required if you are editing the rotation trajectory of a point controller.